This video was sponsored by Flow Toys. Without a doubt, it's my favorite application for partner weaves, foldouts, and push pulls. Drex here from DrexFactor.com, helping you bring the joy of flow to your world, and I'm here with my friend Tashi to teach you two fantastic applications for your partner weaves that will require you and your partner to get your feet moving. Before we dive in, however, I just want to give a quick shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Flow Toys, Pyroterra Light Toys, LMF Props, Spinballs, and Ultrapoi for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about all these amazing companies and the work they're doing to support flow artists like yourself by checking out the links down in the description of this video. Isn't it weird that partner 3 beats and partner 4 beats are different? Foldouts use both our first partner poi transition. Make sure before you go any further that you and your partner can do the four beat with both hands when facing the same way, as well as the face to face and back to back three beat weaves. I'll add links to all of these tutorials in the description so you can brush up before you dive in, but suffice it to say that both are essential for what we cover in this video. For a review, let's check in on communication. When we start a trick, we will count in saying here, next, now. Sound good, Rex? Sounds awesome. Foldouts occur when you and your partner switch from performing a face-to-face 3-beat -face to performing a side-to-side 4-beat. -side this generally involves one partner pivoting out on one foot away from the other partner. Hence, foldout. Foldouts also give you a great way to move around and travel a bit. We're going to designate a job for each partner as we learn this trick. The one folding out will be called the folder, while the partner who stays in place will be called the anchor. To do the transition, it helps to know why these weaves are different in the first place. When performing the partner 3-beat, each partner is basically doing a normal 3-beat weave, either forward or reverse. The only difference is their partner's hand is subbing in for one of their own. This means they're always performing two beats on their partner's side and one beat on their own. But in a 4-beat, each person is doing two beats on each side of the body. Plus, it looks like a reverse weave to one partner and a forward weave to the other. To the anchor, the only thing that really seems to change when transitioning between the two is that they must add an extra beat to the weave. The folder adds a beat and the direction of the weave seems to change for them. Both weaves have something in common that will help us switch between them. Both weaves involve the hands twisting and untwisting at different parts. We're going to use the downstream rule that we talked about in our 4-beat weave video to simplify things, which means that the partner that is upstream must always be the one to add a beat to the weave during the transition. So, let's give it a shot. From a forward 3-beat weave, wait for the moment when the hands untwist on the anchor's side and have the folder pivot out away from their partner. It happens here, next, now. Now, the anchor adds a beat by pushing through on the folder's hand and you should emerge with a 4-beat weave and both partners facing the same way. Now, let's see that from a few different angles. If this is how we fold out, how do we fold back in? To get back to the three beat weave, we wait for the moment when the hands begin to untwist on the back side of both partners. When this happens, the folder will pivot back to facing the anchor and the anchor will simply reach over the folder's hand to drop a beat and return to the three beat weave. Now, let's see that from a couple other angles. The reason this works all comes down to the untwisting. This gives the partner who is folding the opportunity to move through a spot where the poi are not in their way and where their wrist won't get mangled. Now let's try the same thing from a reverse weave. Because we're using the downstream rule, it's now the folder's job to add a beat. 
Just like before, we want to wait until the hands and poi untwist on the anchor side so the folder can pivot around their hand. The folder also adds a beat by pushing the anchor's hand through. To fold back, wait until the hands and poi untwist on each partner's backside and have the folder pivot back around their hand to wind up face to face with the anchor again. The folder's hand will wind up on top as the anchor's hand reaches underneath to start the reverse three beat. Now let's see that again from a few different angles. Make sure to practice this transition in both directions on each hand, because next we're going to go back and forth between them. Now we're going to be using both hands. So start from a three beat weave standing face to face and pick one side to fold out on. Count off here, next, now, and have the folder pivot out to that side, switching to a four beat weave. Make sure to keep the poi in your other hand spinning. Now let's fold back here, next, now, and the folder steps back in front of the anchor. Both hands should be doing a three beat weave again. Now let's try folding out to the other side. Here, next, now, and have the folder pivot out. This weave should feel to the folder like it's going the opposite direction from the first fold and the person doing the pushing should also have switched. Count off here, next, now, and have the folder step back into the face-to-face -face three beat. Get comfortable folding out to either side and then back like this. You can even switch which partner is doing what and chain this move across the floor. That chain may be cool, but my favorite application for this transition is something that I like to call the fold around. That is, having that folder travel all the way around the anchor. For this, we imagine four positions around the anchor. In front of them, to the side of them, behind them, and then to the other side. For our purposes here, we'll just call them north, west, south, and east. Have the folders step through each of these points, pivoting around their hands. Go from face to face with your partner on the north side, facing the same direction on the west, facing away from them on the south side, facing the same direction on the east, and finally, return to face-to-face -face on the north. This means that we have to learn how to fold out from the side and get back to back. Let's do this one hand at a time. Start on one side and do the fold out you already know. Here, next, now. From standing side to side with your partner, pay attention to that moment when the hands are beginning to untwist on both partners' front side. From here, the folder will pivot around behind their partner and you'll both drop into the three beat back to back. Wait until the hands untwist on the anchor side and fold back out to their side. Here, next, now. From here, you can get to back to back or facing each other. You can actually make a fun drill out of this by flipping a coin a few times while you fold. From out on the side, every time you land on heads, you return to the face to face three beat and then fold back out. And every time you land on tails, you switch to the back to back version before once again folding back out. Learn both sides go in both directions and you can fold all the way around your partner. Start face to face and have the folder fold out to the west. Here, next, now. From here, they'll fold the back to back on the south. Here, next, now. Now have them fold out to the east. Here, next, now. Finally, have them fold back north. Here, next, now. See if you can go through each spot without having to count down. It's pretty fast, but it looks really cool. And if you'd like a final challenge from this video, I'm gonna throw you for a loop with one tweak called push pulls. 
Notice how the folder always has to both pivot and step out to the side during the folder round? We can actually split these tasks up between the partners. This works best if we have the anchor pivot and the folder step out. The challenge is this changes which hand we fold out on. If the folder is heading to the west position, we're used to looking for the fold-out position at the hand facing that direction. If we instead fold out using a push-pull, the fold happens around the hand that is pointing in the opposite direction, to the east. The good news is that when you push-pull back to back, it feels like a regular fold back in. You just need to watch out for the fold-out. Here's the push-pull that goes all the way around the anchor. Pretty wild, huh? Wow, that was a lot. But there's a lot of super cool stuff that came out of it. Especially when it comes to foldouts, I find it's really helpful to use poi that have a pretty slender profile because they need to occasionally make their way through some really tight spaces. And that's one of the biggest reasons why I recommend using pod poi from Flow Toys, the sponsor for this series. Not only are they super soft, but unlike contact poi, they're also much more narrow and easy to slip through the spaces between bodies as partners move around each other. Flow Toys is also offering a deal to those of you out there who'd like to get started on your partner poi journey. Use the code PARTNERFLOW to get 11% off a set of poi for both you and your partner. Thanks so much to Flow Toys for making this series possible. We want to see your partner poi. Post yourself doing this trick on Instagram with the hashtag DrexFactorPoi so that we can check out your work. Next week, we'll be finishing up this series with a tutorial on slides and pivots to really get you and your partner moving. To make sure you see when that tutorial drops, please make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos in this series. And before I set you all loose, I also just want to put out a massive thank you to all of my wonderful supporters on Patreon. They're the reason that this video and all the videos on this channel exist. If you would like to support the work that I do, please head on over to patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi and sign up. You'll get early access to all of my content, including future videos in this series, as well as a vote in what topics I tackle in the future. Thank you in advance. The anchor then adds a beat, pushing through on the folder's hand, and you should emerge for the wild ass weave. <laughs> the wild ass weave. <laughs>